So I'll show you how to configure SNMP on the Palo Alto firewall. And I'll also show you how to use the uh, MIB manager to fetch the information from the Palo Alto firewall using the OIDs and how can you download the MIP trees for the Palo Alto firewalls with respect to the software versions and everything that you should know about how the SNMP should be configured and should be deployed in your network for monitoring. So let's get started. This is my Palo Alto firewall. All right, so first step, click on the device, go to SNMP, go inside the server profile, you will see SNMP trap. Click on add, I already have one, but then I'll create a new one. And this is going to be version two. If you want, you can click on version three, add the name and your SNMP manager. In my case, the manager IP is, and this is the system, whereas in I have the SNMP manager software installed so that I can uh, fetch the information about the Palo Alto firewall from there. By the way, this is a window server machine. And I'll show you the SNMP manager in some time. Community by default is public, so I'll leave it as public. Okay, so now we have created the SNMP trap server profile. Click okay. So now this is our uh, SNMP trap profile. Once done, click on lock settings and click on add. This is by the way, under the system. So click on that and create a new profile. And you can filter them as well with respect to the severity. So you can click as all. You can click on add under SNMP and select the one that we created in the last step and click okay. So now we have the profile created under, under the system, whereas in we have called the SNMP trap profile, SNMP underscore new. We'll do the same thing for the configuration as well. And I'm going to filter all logs. And under SNMP, click on add and select the one that we created in the last step, SNMP underscore new. Click OK. The rest of the thing I'm not adding, but you can add as per your requirement. Now that we have created the SNMP trap profile and we have configured the lock settings and we have added the SNMP trap profile here. So we should be good to proceed towards our next step. So the next step is click on device, go to setup. All right, click on interface, click on management and enable the SNMP under the network services. Click OK. That's it. So you have the SNMP enabled on the management interface so that it can respond to the SNMP managers query. Once you're done, you can commit the changes.
you can close it and now we'll see how to download the map tree so every single network device will have their respective map tree which will contain the information about the oids where the values are stored so to download the map tree with respect to the pan os version you can go to this link i'll provide this link in the description and i have downloaded this particular mip file already so i have the mip file with me already so now that the configuration is done on the palo alto firewall let's now move on to our windows server where we have the snmp manager config another thing that you can consider consider here is uh, if you click on device setup click on operation you will see a tab under miscellaneous snmp setup so you can set the physical location and you can select the contact This is just for the demonstration purpose. So I've selected a V2C version. Use even specific trap definition, SNMP community string as public, click OK. So this is another settings that you can try tweaking in your network. Now let's move on to our Windows Server. So this is our Windows Server. We have the CLI access of the Palo Alto Firewall. And here is our Windows Server. Let's try to open our MIP tree. And the file that I've downloaded is this. And inside this, I have the MIP tree. And I have already loaded the MIP tree, few of them. So you can see here, pan global TC, pan common MIB, pan global reg. So I have already loaded the MIP trees. Now we'll first test with the for the standard RFC MIB, and then I'll show you the difference with the Palo Alto MIB tree that we have. So now I'm going to fetch the information about the system description, All right? So here on my screen, you can see the host as 192.168.0.96. This is the management interface IP. And I'm using port 161. Community is public, right? Community is public. And now I'm sending a get to fetch the information. So you can see here, I'm getting the information Palo Alto Network VM series firewall. And you can fetch the uptime as well. So you can see here, I'm getting the uptime as 11 hours, 48 minutes. And the object ID is here. You can use them for the manual query from your Linux systems. I guess uh, we will try a couple of more options available here. So you can see the name of the VM. Okay, it is not able to fetch the location information.
Okay, so it is able to fetch the MTU information as well. And seems like we're getting the speed of the interfaces in packet. Let's try to check this. So we are getting the description about the interfaces as well. So this was all about uh, using the RFC MIP tree, which is a standard MIP tree. And the OIDs will remain same for most of the standard networking devices. Now let's try to move on to our uh, global or the PAN respective MIP that we have. So let's try to fetch the PAN system software version using Git. So you can see here, it is giving us the version information and the OIDs here. And you can use this particular format as well. You can see the hardware version. You can get the time zone offset. Okay, HA is disabled. Unknown, disabled. We can get the session utilization as well. Or we can try one thing. Let's go to our Palo Alto firewall. Let's try to initiate some traffic. Now let's try to get the information you can see here the icmp based sessions five and you can do one more thing you can do snmp walk to get the details about all the oids mentioned inside this tree you can see the information about the the zones And I guess that's all uh, in this video. I already showed you how to load the MIP trees into your uh, MIP browser. By the way, I'm using Manage Engine MIP browser, which is a free tool. So loading the MIP tree is pretty simple. Click on load MIP and then select, and then you should be good to go. And guys, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It really helps me to make more videos like this for you people. See you in the next video. Bye.